But first, tonight's guest is a successful actor and an award-winning comedian who's just about to achieve his lifelong ambition of riding a revolving bookcase. It's David Walliams! <laughs> Please have a seat. Hi, Tom. How are you, Tom? Great, thank you. Lovely to see you. Oh, Lovely to see you too. David Walliams, don't harass Sir Tom Jones. <laughs> I haven't made alone. a lunge at him yet. <laughs> look at you. Look at you. you doesn't he, he always looks so impeccably dressed, doesn't he? <laughs> <You're> a... <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, you. And, and you're looking very well. You're, you're, you're a married man now. Married man now, yeah. yeah. I never thought I'd see that, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, thought, I thought civil partnership, yes, maybe. <laughs> how, how is it going? It's, it's very well. I've got the ring here. Oh, let me see. I've got her name engraved. Can you see? Colin. <laughs> <laughs> can you that, see that? Yeah, I can. That's oh, that's isn't that lovely? Yeah. yeah. That's that. And does she have uh, a similar one? I've no, never met her, so I don't know. <laughs> But it was, a, it was a, like a fairy tale romance, wasn't it? it was I met Lara only in, in May of last year, and then sort of we, got, we decided to get married in sort of January of this year, so it was quite quick. And then I said, well, Do you want to get married this year? She said, Yes. And I said, Well, I'm, I'm making this series sort of August, September. Well, how about getting married in autumn? And she said, uh, I don't want to have to wear a coat when I get married. <laughs> so we got married in May. Really? Does she feel the cold? It's just we couldn't afford a coat. There was a problem. <laughs> And how has life changed for you? Because as long as I've known you, mm. you've been the archetypal socialising bachelor. Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, it, it, the lovely thing about getting married, I know this is... Is it, is it meant to be a comedy show, this show? It's, in, in an ideal world, yeah. <laughs> yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, sorry, I was just watching some backstage. Wasn't sure. But, um... <laughs> oh, I just wanted... To, I just, it's the lovely thing when you get married, cos you sort of start to have a sense of the future, don't you? You start yeah. to looking. You start to look forward to the rest of your life. And what's that going to involve? Is that going to involve children? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to have kids, but um, probably in a couple of years. Boys or girls? Um, I quite like to be in a house just of girls. Really? Mm. I like to be sort of plaiting their hair, and things like that. <laughs> playing with their dolls and things like that. <laughs> I think for boys, I find it hard because I go, "Come on, Dad, let's go to the football and stuff like that." I go, oh, can't we go to the ballet? <laughs> <laughs> So I think I find that hard. But you are good with kids, and then you, you know, you surprised everyone when you went into writing a kid's book. Yeah. I remember one day you just said, oh, yeah, I'm writing a children's book. Where did that come from? Well, I just had an idea for the first book, so I thought, oh, a boy who goes to school dressed as a girl. I had the title, The Boy in the Dress. Oh, why, why does he get dressed as a girl? What are the consequences? And so I wrote that book, and then I wrote another book, Mr Stink, yeah. as well. I've brought in a copy of Mr Stink here, and it would be lovely... Hilarious, The Times. Disappointing <laughs> second book, Time Out. Um, <laughs> would, you, would you read a little bit? Because yeah, we all, we all like a bedtime story. Would you like to, would you like to just sit here and read it? Because <laughs> I was reading it to a child, they'd come and sit there. Somebody actually went, oh. <laughs> In the anticipation of how lovely it would be. <laughs> Mr. Stank. You got it wrong. Got it wrong, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stank. Mr. Stank. Get the bloody book right. <laughs> I didn't write it. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. Stink Stank. He'll... Phew, we've got the first sentence out of the way. <laughs> On we go. <laughs> Sorry. He also stunk, and if it was correct English to say he stinked, then he stinked as well. He was the stinkiest stinky stinker who ever lived. <laughs> this is rubbish. Did this sell? <laughs> Did you? I mean, I mean, good God alive. <laughs> Have you haven't read it. You're meant to read the I've books. I've just read guess. a bit now. A stink is the a stink is worse than a stench. A stench is worse than a pong. I mean, my two-year-old could have come up with this. <laughs> and a whiff can be. Well, actually, no, it does get good actually as it goes on. <laughs> now, you told me once about Roger Moore. Well, I, I got. To, I'm a massive James Bond fan, and I, I got to in, uh, interview Roger Moore at the National Film Theatre. And then it was my birthday last year, and I got this call from this number I didn't know. There was a voice on the other end of the line. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Who the you. hell is this? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear David. Happy birthday to you. I said, oh, who is this? It's Sir Roger Moore. 
I see. So I said, oh, well, thank you for calling me. I'm actually naked in bed. He went, so am I. <laughs> I said, it's a shame we're not together. I know. <laughs> I thought, I'm flirting with an octogenarian bond on my birthday. Does it, does it get any better than that? Now, I, w I was going through some photos the other day of when we first met. Do you remember when that was? Well, we, were, we worked together on a um, comedy drama mm -hmm. called Cruise of the Gods, and we were filming on an actual boat. Yes. Which was kind of going around the it Mediterranean. It went around, all around the Mediterranean. And here's a picture of us in Venice together. Now, look, have a look at this. Look at that. It's nice, isn't now, it? Now, I look painfully thin. <laughs> it looks as though you've taken me to Venice just before I die. <laughs> Who's actually death in Venice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we met, cos we were, we were in a boat and we, had to, we ended up, didn't we, having to share. Well, the, the, boat, the first boat we were on ran aground, yeah. which meant we had to then get on a second boat and there weren't enough rooms for us. So certain people had to elect to share a room. And in car case, that meant share a bed, didn't it? Well, no, we weren't sharing a bed. Let's well, no, clear no, this we up. No, were, we no, were, we no, were we weren't sharing a bed. Well, we were sharing a bed. We got shown into this cabin and there was basically this just double bed. And, and, and the kind of stewardess who'd shown us in sort of laughed and went, Ooh. And I said, whoa, 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 hang on a minute. You were absolutely fine with it, I have to say. <laughs> it was two singles, so they separated these two single beds. But by about an inch. Yes, literally, by about that so much. So we thought, oh, to yeah. hell with it, and we pushed them back together, didn't we? <laughs> so, and we, we, we have a picture of this as well. Here's one. the campest five weeks <laughs> of my life. I came that close to turning. <laughs> <laughs> that close to having my name on that ring. <laughs> but that was the first time I met you, and I thought then, and I still think, you were the funniest person I'd ever met. Well, that's very kind. No, I you... wish I could have said the same. <laughs> In a little bit, I'm going to get people in the audience to uh, ask you questions, oh. OK? Mm. And we've oh, asked right. the Twitters and yes, the tweeters. On the uh, internet. On yeah. the internet. Mm -hmm. You've asked them to send in their questions okay. as well, OK? So get yourself ready for that. In the meantime, I'm going to go and see Sir Tom Jones. Here's a chap who's making people laugh at comedy clubs all over the country. He's fantastic. Give a big welcome to Tom Deacon. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello, hello. Good for you. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, hello, my name's Tom. Um, you seem lovely. You seem like a really, really nice audience, you know, not too posh. Um, and uh, what I mean by that is, you know, because posh audiences are the worst audiences to perform to because they, they don't actually laugh. I don't know if you've ever noticed that about posh people. They just, they just go, that's really funny. And uh, <laughs> just, you know, laugh. And then they go, that's so funny. I'm going to have to tell Rupert, God, that's good. Um, <laughs> I live with three other posh guys, and, and, and that's, that's nice, because they have this word, I don't know if you've heard of it, called banter. Oh, Deco, great banter. <laughs> banter. The ban the, get on the banter bus, and you think, no. And, uh, <laughs> no, no. and the, the thing is, though, because I, I, I once came home, right, and I said something averagely funny. I said, uh, you know, the usual, like, oh, it's hot in here. You know, nothing. It wasn't funny, right? <laughs> and, and one of my friends went, oh, dear, Deco, that is stinky chat. You should be sent to Bantanamo Bay for that. <laughs> Not acceptable, right? <laughs> Recently, right, the, the thing is, I, I, I took my mum, right, uh, to, to Chinatown, right? Now, I know this is a, a sort of a jump, but, like, it's because I, I, I love my mum and think she's amazing, right? And this year, her uh, New Year's resolution was to learn Chinese, right? Now, she's never been to China, she's never planning to go to China, but she just sort of likes to tell people what she's up to, like, being interested. She'll go, I'm learning Chinese! And her friends will go, that's nice, and she'll go, I know! <laughs> do you fancy tea? Like, that's it, the level <laughs> of that sort of thing. So I said, Mum, let's do it. Me and you, will go up to Chinatown. We're walking along, right? And out of nowhere, she notices these fruit and, and veg in these baskets that she's never seen in her life before. And she's sort of looking in, going, oh, we don't get in the supermarket, do you? Look, what's that? Look, really interested. And I had a little placard in front of it that tells you what it's called. <laughs> and then she said something which was quite daunting. She said, I'm going to pronounce the name. <laughs> First ever said Chinese word, and I'm thinking, all right, yeah, be positive, yeah, go on, mum. She's there going, all right, here we go. <clears throat> pa pakala. Pakawa? Is it Pakawa? Pakawa? Pakala. And I'm thinking, go on, mum, you can do this, but like, don't make a scene. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't want that. And then she's going, Pakala. Pakawa. Put the voice on. Pakawa. Pakawa. Is it. Pa 
Pakala, Pala. Right now, people of Chinatown, it's a busy area. They're walking past. If you see a woman effectively shouting at fruit and veg, <laughs> it's, it's quite entertaining. It's exciting. People have started crowding around. We've got an audience, people behind me. I've got my mum, me behind, just going, don't make a scene. There's people, people cheering, you can do it, you, you can do it. I don't know how they found out, right? Chinese whispers, whatever. They were in on it. <laughs> They knew what was going on, right? They start cheering, you can do it. My mum's there going, oh, an audience. <laughs> Pakala, is it Pakala? She's shouting now at this point. The man of the shop looks out of the window. He's never seen this before. People chanting at his fruit and veg going, you can do it. Right? At that point, he bolts out faster than Usain Bolt. He's just staggered there. My mum's there going, someone tell me, am I saying it right? Is it Pakala? Is it Pakala? He leant in, he went, that's per kilo. <laughs> that's my name. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, great stuff, man. Thank you so much. Tom Deacon. So, so, Tom, I saw you, when I saw you in that club and you just mm. kind of, you stormed it, mm. but you must have had, because I've had some terrible nights, you must have mm. had bad nights as well. Well, yeah, I've had bad nights, but night, because the thing I was always expecting with stand-up is that, that moment where people heckle you, but I've never really had a really, really bad heckle. I've only had odd heckles, and, and the worst one I remember is, um, the funniest, I should say, was uh, in Chudley. I did a gig in Chudley in the southwest in a place called they call Chudders, and, uh, <laughs> and I don't think they've had comedy there before, because in the middle of the blackness of, of the room, out of nowhere, there's someone who went, my mate thinks you're fit. <laughs> And that's not like, your rubbish, get off. So I was left there and I thought, could be in here, right? So I, <laughs> I shouted back into the darkness, what does she look like? Thinking, you know, I'd get like, oh, she's really nice or something. But the honest response came back was, she's got a head and she's got hair. <laughs> you know, well, it's giggling because I've been on so many dates with girls without heads. So it was, uh, it was a nice mix. <laughs> but lovely, but it's oh. great normally. Well, listen, thanks so much for coming oh, on tonight. Pleasure. Thank you very Tom much. Tom Deacon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Great. Ooh, yeah, I love them. Right, now, time for the questions from the audience. Oh. A lot of the, to be honest, the idea for the Twitter thing, I mean, a lot of the ones you get on Twitter are rubbish, and I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't insult you by asking them. Uh, ones like this, do you ever pee sitting down? I mean, you know. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> can you change a plug? No. What do you sing at karaoke? I am what I am. <laughs> Right. In the audience are yes. Phil oh, and yeah. Linva Warham. Hiya. Hello, Linva. Hello. Lovely name. Bit different. Why not? Welsh. Um, it's Welsh. Mm. Oh, what does it mean? I think it means deep lake. Deep lake? <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear a buoyancy aid, Phil? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, what's, what's your question for David? It, uh, David, you recently got married. Uh, what was the first dance that you danced to? It was actually Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> um, um, from the film, Celine Dion and really? Peabody Bryson. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be kind of funny because she's a supermodel and I'm a beast, but <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure that many people got the irony of it. What about you two? What, what was your first, uh, um, first dance? It was um, I Knew I Love You Before I Met You by uh, Savage Garden. And what sort of a wedding was it? We got married in a lap dancing club. <laughs> Seriously? Yes. Why? Which it's one? I may know it. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's called Cats in Basildon. I know... <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Spearmint Rhino, I know. <laughs> I don't know cats. No. cats. Don't don't so, I know Sophisticats, but this is just cats. This is just cats. <laughs> don't think of going after the show, because I had a text earlier. Apparently it flooded today. <laughs> This, this, the show's taken an odd turn. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you for your for your uh, for your question. Um, it was a lovely contribution. Bizarre. Wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Paul McGregor. Hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. How are you? Hi, David. Fine, thank you. All right. Nice. Thanks for coming. My pleasure. Oh, I mean, Let we're... him ask his question. <laughs> I'm getting to know him. <laughs> where have you come from tonight, Paul? Bedford. Oh, ever go to Basildon? <laughs> There's a cracking club there. <laughs> What's your question for David? Hi, David. Hi. Um, you've snogged quite a few male celebrities. Um, James Corden, Sting, Matt Lucas, of course. Which one did you find was the, the best? 
But do you know what? I see every time I see James Corden, he's always trying to kiss me. <laughs> Does he do this to you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing this sort of this fashion show, charity fashion show. And we thought, oh, we've got to do something funny. We didn't really know what to do. So we thought, oh, let's just walk along, pretending to be like count male models. And at the end, we'll, like, we'll go to, like, we're about to kiss, and then we won't. And then we went for it, and then we just started, like, stalking. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought of nothing of it until my wife. Because you know the way the internet works, she saw it immediately and she wasn't happy at all. Was she not happy? No, but, I mean, there's nothing going on with James Corden. You don't need to worry. <laughs> Right, now, nah, question from your mum next. Oh. There she is. Hello, Kathleen. Hello. Hello. Hi, what, what, what is your question for David Williams? Well, I'd like to know why everything he does is rather rude. Yeah. <laughs> she laughs at all the rude things. <laughs> She's inspired most of it. <laughs> What's the rudest bit, do you think? Old ladies who are incontinent. Yeah, yes. we actually yeah. had a complaint from the Incontinent Society. <laughs> we were, what were they waiting to happen? They set up the Society just for this sketch, <laughs> and um, I think their complaint was upheld. Did they did they make a big statement, or did it just leak out? <laughs> You may look back and find they were just taking the piss. We don't know. <laughs> who, who, so, who you said your mum? Did you seriously inspired some of the characters? Not, not the ladies in the, not the weeing ladies, obviously. <laughs> Say no, for God's <laughs> sake, man. <laughs> Pondering it. Yeah. No, but some are sort of based on my mum a bit in the way she talks. She actually, she's actually got the, the, the wedding album. She's been showing the wedding album uh, oh. to, to, my, to my friends, and she said the other day, she said, oh, yes, I've been showing lots of people in the church the wedding album. A lot of people have said, how short Rob Brydon is. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? It? I'm afraid so. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. People do expect me to be taller. I mean, I'm six foot, isn't that enough? <laughs> Five foot seven. <coughs> um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, David Walliams. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks as well to the brilliant Tom Deacon here to play us out with Run On, the one and only Sir Tom Jones.